been learning about the Georges River and we hear you've got some questions. So we're here today to answer some of those questions that you sent in. But first, Georges River Keeper would like to acknowledge the traditional owners and custodians of the Georges River, the people of the Eora, Darug and Darawal nations. And we pay our respects to their elders past, present and future. Now let's hear from your teacher, Julie, at Georges River Environmental Education Centre. Good morning, students. I'm so excited that you have so many questions that you've sent in about the Georges River. I'd now like to introduce you to Rob, one of the Georges River Keepers. Over to you, Rob. Hi, everyone. Yeah, as Julie was saying, I work for George, Georges River Keeper. Um, yeah, we do a lot of work all along the Georges River. So I'm very excited to answer some questions from you guys. So I'll just share my screen quickly. So yeah, as Julie was saying, my name's Rob, um, and this is a photo of me down on the Georges River in Campbelltown. As you can see, it's a very beautiful spot down there. So on to the questions. Okay, so the first questions we have, how, how big is the Georges River and where does the Georges River come from? Good question. Um, down the mouth of the Georges River where it enters the bay, it's very big and wide, as you can see in this first picture. There's no way you'd be able to swim across it. Um, as the river moves further up the catchment, it becomes a lot smaller and skinnier. This is near where the, the Georges River comes from. It's a swampy area before it flows downhill. It's very skinny here. Some of you could even jump across it. Okay, how many rivers make up the Georges River? Well, the main river is the Georges River, but there is another river which flows into it about halfway along its length. That one is called the Warrenora River. There's also a number of creeks, which are much smaller, which flow into both of these rivers. Why is there a dam there? Good question. Um, so there's a dam near the top of the Warrenora River. As you can see here, it helps to hold back a lot of water. This water is then treated and goes into our taps, which we use every day. How deep is the Georges River? Um, good question. Well, the, the Georges River varies in depth. Near the mouth, where it enters the bay, the water is very deep. There's no way you could swim down to the bottom. Further up the river, it gets a lot shallower. When the water flows over shallow areas, it makes rapids, like you can see in this picture. What kind of rocks and minerals can we find by the river? Um, there's lots of different types of rocks and materials along the river. In some areas, the river shoreline is muddy. Where it's muddy, special trees called mangroves grow. You can see them in this first picture. In other areas, the shoreline of the river is rocky. The main type of rock we find there is sandstone. And that's the type of rock in this picture. Where exactly can we find sandstone? Uh, so sandstone is found uh, along a lot of the Georges River, especially down the bottom near the estuary. Um, here's a good example of a little sandstone cliff. Some people even jump into it, into the water. Over here you can see a map. The light grey areas are sandstone and the dark grey areas are a different type of rock called shale. How strong are the rocks? Um, the rocks that make up the sides of the river are fairly strong. Um, 
they've been squished over a very long period of time to make them stick together. However, the water that flows on over them is even stronger. Um, it's so powerful, it creates valleys, um, yeah, throughout the river. How old is the Georges River? The Georges River is very, very old, even older than your grandparents. Um, however, it is still changing and has changed over the time. A few thousand years ago, the river used to come out all the way over here, but now it comes out into Botany Bay, which is yet yeah, a long distance from where it used to come out. When was the Georges River discovered? Well, the Georges River has been used by Aboriginal people for thousands and thousands of years. Um, you can see here some paintings they created on a cave quite close to the river. European people first discovered the Georges River about 250 years ago. Here's a little boat called the Tom Fum, which explorers used used to explore the river. This is one of my favourites. What types of animals live in the Georges River? Good question. Well, there's lots and lots of different types of animals which live and rely on the Georges River. Some of our favourites which we've shown here are the platypus, which lives in freshwater parts. Um, fish, such as a, an Australian bass, which I caught. And there's also a lot of birds which use the river for feeding. What about animals that shouldn't live in the river? Yes, well, unfortunately, people have brought animals that are not naturally found in the river to the shores. Um, this little guy here is called a red-eared slider turtle. Um, it's a bit of a bully and outcompetes native turtles like our long neck turtle. He looks a little bit like Raphael from the Ninja Turtles with this red bandana. So what food do the animals eat there? Great question. Well, each animal has its own um, food which it likes to eat in the river. Platypuses, for instance, eat a lot of different types of insects which are found on the surface as well as underneath. Um, a lot of the birds in the river, like this cormorant here, eat fish. Are there tadpoles in the river? Yes, there's lots of tadpoles in the river, um, but they're only found in fresh water, not the salty parts. Um, so frogs lay their eggs either in the river or little ponds which form on the bank, and eventually they turn into frogs. This one here is a green tree frog, which we found not too long ago. What kinds of what kind of sharks live in the river? Um, there's a few types of sharks that live in the river, but the main kind is called a bull shark. Um, you can see here one that a few fishermen have caught in the river. They let it go though, so it's still swimming around today. If you wanted to swim in the river, there are a number of places called bars which are netted off against sharks, so they are safe to swim. Are there crocodiles in the river? Um, crocodiles' main habitat is a river, but they are not found in the Georges River. They like it where it's much warmer, like in Queensland. Um, 
While we don't have crocodiles, we do have other reptiles like lizards. This one here is called a water dragon, and there's lots of lots of those nearby the river. Thank you so much, George's River Keeper team, and thank you, boys and girls, for your questions. See you later. See you guys. Thank you.